So we're going to talk about level 1.2, the triangle angle sum theorem here on page 6 today. And uh, this is something that you may have seen before. And that is, when we're dealing with triangles, is that the sum of the measures of the angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. So what we can say is that the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B plus the measure of angle C is 180 degrees. If you take a look down here, right underneath the box, we've got a picture of a triangle here reaching over to get my calculator just to show here. And what we see is that the measure of angle A is 57.07 degrees. And then the measure of angle B is 87.45 degrees. And the measure of angle C is 35.48 degrees. And if we add all three of those together, we get 180 degrees. Here's another picture, if you're familiar with the protractor. We took the measure of this angle, the 35.48, plus the measure of this angle, the 87.45, plus the measure of this angle, 57.07, and it forms this straight line here. And again, that's why we add to 180 when we're working with triangles. And that whole idea holds true when we try to figure out the different angles in these uh, particular problems. So for instance, if we look at uh, problem number four here, we want to find the measure of angle one, the measure of angle two, and measure of angle three. Well, if we look specifically over here to the left of the picture, we know two of the angles in this triangle already. So what we can do is we can take 66 and add it to 84. And when we add those two together, 6 and 4 is 10, carry the 1, 8, 6, 14, 15. That gives us 150 degrees for these first two angles right here. And then what we want to know, well, how much is angle 1? If we take 180 degrees minus 150 degrees, that's going to give us our 30 degrees which is the measure of angle one. Something else that we can figure out in this particular triangle is how big angle three is. Because if we take 84 and angle three, what we see is we're working with a linear pair. So if we want to figure out how big angle three is, we can take 180 minus 84 and I'll just pull up the calculator here, 180 minus 84, which gives us 96 degrees. So now we know this is 96. We also know that this angle is 43. A triangle has 180 degrees in it when we add the 96 plus the 43. Well, 96 plus 43, I don't really need a calculator, but here it is, is 139. And then to figure out what angle 2 is, we're going to take 180, and we're going to subtract 139. Use Desmos. Use a calculator. Don't use some weird app on your phone or on the computer, for that matter. 180 minus 139, you can't see it very well, but it's 41 degrees. If we look at problem number two, sorry, problem number five, then what we're going to get here 